know? I feel like I've met this dude at like a festival or a certain kind of bar. You're, I don't know. You're fully transformed. Perfect. Even better. Like, Let's hear a cowboy voice. Well, cowboys, we're going out riding today, and the best thing to ride these days is actually another cowboy. Howdy. No, 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 no. Now the bit really starts. I have you on the main feed. Well, my little heifers, at some point, you're going to have to go into the past of your life. And in order to find out what you are going to eat in that past of your life, you're going to have to sift through a whole lot of shit. That's the pep talk for you little heifers out there. Remember, your grass is not always green on the other side. That's, that's all I have for that bit. It's a sad cowboy. It's a sad cowboy. What about riding cowboys? I liked that part. <laughs> I mean, I'm just taking um, verses from what might be the greatest band to ever walk this earth, Big and Rich. If uh, my high school was anything to go by. See, that's this is my issue with Big and Rich, is that I feel like save a horse, ride a cowboy is a false dichotomy. You can ride both. You know? I mean, you can. You can. Have it both ways. Um, I guess my issue with yeah. that is that horses can't really consent, so. Yeah, in fact, we, we call it breaking horses, which seems just like the opposite of consent when you're Sorry. training them to be ridden. We call it what? Oh, breaking them. Jesus. Yeah, breaking a horse. What did you think I said, Nicole? I heard boinking. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we saved the cows for that. <laughs>